Welcome Capricorn to your weekly love reading for July 30th to August the 5th of 2018. So this week I feel that there's still some entanglement that you're going through and I feel like a lot of it, it could be financially, right? You're thinking about ways to maybe improve some issues that you've gone through. Um, the stress that you feel with it with your romantic partner this is a love reading but that's you know that goes hand in hand with how you uh, deal with somebody else i feel like there may have been some conflict on a greed um selfishness on someone else's part could be yours in some way um depending on how you interject your uh your other emotions with that person how you deal with them but i feel part of the lesson uh maybe last week as you experienced was yes you ran into a brick wall because you may have been pushing 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 for something to happen for somebody to open up for you to make a change um even if it was money and things that you may have been trying to work towards you're holding on to that too tightly and a lot of times when the universe sees that you're stressing or wearing yourself out it'll it'll have you um it'll let you burn yourself out until you realize you need to take a step back it's like a crash course you know you never know sometimes you might get um Sometimes you might, it's an overload. Sometimes you can just faint, pass out. You know, these kind of things where you need to rest your mind or relax sometimes so that you can get a different perspective, even recharge yourself so that you can kind of move forward and battle in the way that you need to when it comes to how you might express yourself towards somebody or new love interests or even a conflict that you have going through with somebody else. So part of this, I feel, is letting go of something that you can't move forward with right now. And I feel this week is part, you know, a little bit more of the same in some way. But I feel what you may find out is that um, your intuition is going to be heightened in some way. The full moon energy is going to help amplify it. But I feel if you are to meditate, if you were to have dreams about somebody, a particular love interest, I feel like you may find out that they are dealing with, um, I feel things coming to me as I'm uh, thinking, um, that they might be dealing with conflict that is clearly hidden from you uh, with an ex-partner and that you're the love interest that you want to move forward with you um you couldn't get them to do it because they are maybe afraid of someone else retaliating or um getting into drama and things like that being you know, becoming a disaster you know you never know how these situations could happen so i feel like pay attention to those signs pay attention to the information that's coming uh towards you this week with um, respect to that situation some of you may be dealing with the very same thing where you're in a marriage or relationship and you feel restricted or bound because you don't want someone else to retaliate or get angry with you because you're leaving or moving on from somebody and i feel like your love interest or someone is being dishonest about about that um sometimes you might even feel like if you bring up something they say you know tell me what's wrong you know what's wrong i won't respond bad i won't you know retire you know i won't respond in a bad way or lose my temper or cool but intuitively you know that maybe they will you know so sometimes you might not even bring the topic up and i feel like a lot of you you might just feel like you want to just continue to just work because you don't have any control over how the situation is going to come about you really don't unless you the best way to control something like this is to let go and let the universe help you out in the best way that it can. After you try, try, try it, I feel, if anything, if you can uh, find some help, ask for some help, ask for different ways of handling what you're going through. Because um, a lot of you are definitely not wanting to risk the chance of something you know, bad happening or um, even trust issues, having trust issues with your partner because you feel like um, they might be stuck with the scenario so they'll never come to you because there's conflict with somebody and they don't want things to happen so they might stay away. Um, so a lot of you may definitely be watching them from a, dis a distance, making sure that they are up to good and that the no good that they might be up to is something that's something of the past and they're trying to make changes so that you two can't come together. You're definitely dealing with maybe a past relationship that you're letting go of excuse me and um, I feel like this is something new that is evolving but it's still taking time and it may be very frustrating and um, it's clearly showing but I feel like you have to allow things to happen so um, discuss what you can or what you need to if you have the opportunity especially if you are around somebody in your living environment maybe a romantic partner or a marriage partner a spouse and Try to let them know your emotional needs and see how they might respond and, you know, test the water, so to speak, instead of getting into conflict or ask certain questions. And sometimes you have to read in, the, in between the lines, but that shouldn't be necessary all the time. You know, 
and time will tell when the right time is for them to reveal everything to you so that's what i sent for you this week okay tons of love lots of light to you tons of healing vibes i wish you the best and you can always go to the website psychiclovehills.com to schedule something for you have a good one